Hello, how are you? This is Jacqueline with Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie, and I am doing a raccoon with heart box. Raccoon with heart box. And I did not have time to um, type out the name, so it is um, raccoon with heart box. So, with heart box. You know, that's short for with. So I'm sorry, I have a sick baby at home, so I um, did not get time to uh, reprint out this. So this is a paper nest doll, and my name is Jackie, and I'm so glad you could join me today. And I'm just logging into my um, other phone so I can see uh, comments, and we'll get started here. So, um, raccoon with heart box. There we go. Okay, so it's the cutest little image. I'm just covering his face so that way um, the image doesn't get stolen. And I'm going to use my warm grays to color him today. So let me get these out for you to see. And I hope I'm in frame. So I'm using W4. I always laugh when I say that. Cause isn't that like a spray w4 w6 w2 w8 w0 and w00 so that is what i'm using today and i think i'm in frame okay all right so i'm going to start with his tail because i want to be able to take this little piece of paper off soon and what i'm going to actually do i'm using the w8 the w6 and the w4 um, for the darker colors to kind of give um, almost a uh, kind of a dark dark gray almost black but what I'm going to do is actually because the W8 is sort of like red very uh, bleeds it, it you know red really bleeds purple really bleeds and it's just hard to blend so I'm going to use my W4 which is my lighter color first just to kind of um, wet my paper and this is a sweet sentiment paper so and then I, I did have from um, Miss Paper Nest Dolls there is a Facebook group um, which is Paper Nest Dolls Inspiration and I do have the link here and you can buy stamped images at Paper Nest Dolls and you can use um, get the digi images at my spot uh, Paper Nest Dolls my Shopify so I have the links here um, on this paper typed out so I'm just I'm going to turn this it's kind of hard to so this is my lighter this is my W4 and I'm just kind of lightly I'm going to bring this out I'm going to bring it out and I'm doing little short strokes, just little short strokes and I'm bringing it out and I'm trying to see who's on. I'm going to have to turn, I guess I have to turn my phone the other way to be able to see messages. So let's see. So there's Sharon, there's Sandra. Oh, Sandra, I got your card and it is so cute. Thank you so much. And I have a um, place that I hang up my cards that I receive from people in my craft room so I have put your card up there so thank you very much hi Dawn hi Melissa so I did the W4 so now I'm going to go in with my W8 which is my darker color and I'm just going to and I'm doing little sh um, short strokes just kind of I'm holding it down low to try to do little short strokes um, as soon as I can take off the paper from the image, I will, because I'm kind of keeping my hand on it. Maybe I can just do that, keep my hand on it so it doesn't get um, stolen, and I make sure I'm in frame. There we go. I have a sick baby at home, um, so I have been up all night, so I'm hoping that doesn't affect my uh, coloring today because I am I'll be honest I'm a little tired <laughs> okay so now I'm going to use my W6 and let me just put this back here just for a moment so I can pull off the um, lid I hated uh, we had to go to the emergency room because she was sick and I hated being there I was so afraid because so many people have the flu 
So I'm just pulling out my medium color. And then I'm going to go back in with my lighter color, which is the, um, oh, for this one, it's the W4. And I'm taking off both ends because I don't want to have a big glob. So I'm just kind of pulling it out. Pulling it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go across it. Like one time. And it looks a little harsh until you, um, until we get the other colors. And then we can always go over it again if we feel like we need to go over it again. So, there we go. And that kind of bled just a little bit. So I'm just kind of pulling it out again from the um, sides. And I don't want to do it into the middle because I want to keep that lighter. So I'm just kind of pulling out the dark a little bit. Okay. So now let's do uh, the tip of the tail. So let's go back in. And let's do the, see it, it, it bled a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to take my lighter color, the W4, trying to see who all's on. She'll be okay. The baby will be okay. She has a double ear infection, and I think she might have strep throat, but because she's, they didn't want to make her cry more, she was crying a lot. Um, they didn't test her for the strep throat. They said the, um, she's going to be, she's on antibiotics anyway, and it, it, it would, um, you know, clear that up. So she's just been on anti antibiotics a lot over the last um, really two months. She gets ear infections all the time. Something happens to little babies, I guess. So so she she's taking a little nap right now, which she needs. <laughs> I'd love to take a little nap. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my lighter color, the W4. Man, these are hard, getting hard to take off the uh, ends. Make sure I'm still in frame. I get uh, coloring and talking, and I kind of lose track. So I'm just trying to pull this out. I almost need a in-between, the W6 and the W4. I almost need an in-between color, I think. But anyway, this is what I got. I read that the, they're changing the warms and that it's hard to get them right now. And I don't know how true that is. I don't know if anybody has heard that or not. Now what I'm going to do is um, when I get done, I'm going to go back in and uh, go over this just a little bit more. So now I'm going to use my lighter ones. I'm going to use... Um, W2, W0, and W00 for in between. So that is what I'm using next. And so I, I'm going to take my lighter one. With the grays, I kind of, for me, everybody's different. I feel like I need to start with my lighter and then go darker, where normally I do a dark to light. But with my grays, I just feel like it works better for me to do it the other way. So I'm just going in here. So you really have to find uh, what works for you. Um, there's no right, you know, I mean, there are right and wrong ways to color, but you got to find what works for you. So I'm doing the medium, which is, I'll put it up here, W2. Is it W2 or W4? That, oh, W2s are, W2s and W4s both have to do with taxes. Yes. So every time I say them, I think of that. And then I also think of, uh, there's a spray. Isn't there a spray called W, W4 spray? So anytime I say them, I, I always think of these other things. So I'm just going in with my lighter color and I'm pulling it out. And even though we kind of bled a little bit, it's okay. Um, because it bled into the next section of the tail, so it's okay. So that was my W2, and I'm going to go back with my uh, darker color, which was my W2. I'm going to go back again, just a little bit over the top, just a little bit more. And like I said, this is sweet sentiment paper, so it gives it a nice um, shimmer. It's really nice paper. It really takes color really well. I use this and the, the Express It, and I like them both. But I honestly think I like this paper better. I think it just, I don't know. It makes colors look nice and warm. So now I'm doing my W00. And it just blends so well. 
There we go. Okay, so I'm just taking this over the middle because I feel like it needs a little bit more um, of a um, shine. So I'm going down the middle and I wanted it like even. So that's why I'm, I'm doing that to kind of go down the middle. There's a method to my madness. <laughs> so I have my W2 and my w, W0, and I'm gonna go over here on the tail a little bit more. Because I want it to, it's curving down. There we go. It's really a cute, cute, cute image. And I'm going to take my lighter color. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn it, try to stay in my frame and just make sure I so I just kind of going back and forth a little bit kind of back and forth because I really do want a bit of a shine there we go I'm pretty happy with that so here we go and I want to make sure I'm staying in frame and I'm going to just put this put up here and soon I'll take that off I'll um let's do the feet next let's do the feet and I'm just using, I'm going back and forth, it is W8, W6, W4, W2, W0, and w, W00. These are the markers I'm using. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with these. So with his feet, I'm going to take my W0. Seems like um, not the most interesting colors, but I love the warm grays. I'm just going to lightly... And see, I should have gone, I feel like I should have used um, the lighter color first. I just, I feel like with the grays it works better. But I had used the darker color. And I'm going to do it right here. And I'm doing little tiny uh, strokes. Just kind of little tiny, tiny strokes. And then I'm going to bring the color out. So that was my W6. I'm going to get my W4. And I'm going to... Um, Pull it up, and I think in a moment I can take off this little piece of paper because it is a little distracting, I know. I'm going to pull that up. Just doing little tiny strokes. Whoop, got a little bit on. That's okay. A little bit on the box. That's what I mean by they bleed very easily. All right, I'm going to move that up so out of our way a little bit. Okay, I'm going to push towards, I'm pushing toward, instead of pulling the color out, I'm kind of pushing towards and I'm doing, I'm holding it down low, just kind of doing little tiny strokes. And I should have done, been a little bit more careful right there by the box, but we'll fix it. Accidents happen, especially if you're live. Accidents happen. Now I'm pulling that out and I'm pushing towards here and then I'm going to pull out. So pushing towards. Then I'm going to pull out. And when we get done, it'll all come together. And I'll fix the box when we color. So, and I'm going to touch it up just a little bit more as we color. Okay, I hope I'm staying in frame. Oh, hi, Fatima. How are you? There's Melissa, Fatima, Hani. Oh, you can join us today because it's earlier. I think you're like five hours ahead of us yeah so if you um we have several people that do lives i think i could take that off now so isn't it a cute image oh my gosh all right so i'm going to do the arms and this time i am going to go ahead and do a little bit lighter and i'll fix this spot that i messed up on i am going to start with my lighter but i am going to go actually with let me pull it out here Let's see, what did I do with my W2? Oh, there it is. I think I'm missing one because I'm pretty sure I had. Oh, it was the W8. I said it someplace. Okay, so I'm going to take my W2 and I'm just going to get my paper wet. And I have put my W8 someplace, but I'm not quite sure where. Couldn't have gone too far because I'm just sitting right here in one little spot. All right, so I'm just trying to go where I think think it should be a little bit darker and that was my W2 so I'm gonna take my W0 
just kind of working back and forth between all these colors. And I'm kind of looking around trying to figure out what did I do with my marker. Maybe it fell on the um, floor. I'll kind of bend down and look. So I'm pulling this out. I'm pulling it out here. A little bit more. There we go. There we go. All right. And I'm going to try to go back over and... Um, Oh, give it some little short strokes for the hair. Yeah, I don't know what I did with my W8. I don't actually need it any further, but I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> well, oh, well, oh well. We will make do. We will be fine. Let's go ahead and do, um, I'm going to go ahead and do his eyes. I'm going to use W6. And, and it's going to look funny at first. Uh, when I very first did it, I was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> WD-40. Oh, that's right. WD. It's called WD-40. You're right. WD-40. Uh, you're right. But W-2s and W-4s have to do with our taxes here in the States. So I'm doing this section of his face. And so I'm doing here inside, like the hollows around his eyes. So I'm just pulling this up. Ever so um, slightly, little tiny strokes. And then we'll do his nose last. So pulling this up, just little tiny strokes. I'm just trying to do little tiny strokes because um, I do want it to be darker right in here. There we go, little tiny strokes. And so then I'm going to take my W4 have to do our taxes soon don't we actually we should be like end of the month we should be getting them all done I try to get mine done right on that 30th the end of the month on the you know like the 30th to get it going so need to be doing that <clears throat> if you have I'm, I teach at college you know if you have kids in college and all you need to be getting all that done it's important. There we go. Okay, so I'm pulling the color up. I'm kind of going gradual here, going lighter and lighter. So that was my W4. I'm going to take my W2 and go up again. I'm just doing little, you can hear it if, you, if I'm not talking, little strokes. So I'm just pulling it up. Pulling it up. There we go. Of course, um, the baby, you know, our baby's taking a nap uh, later because she's not, she was up all night and she, so she slept very late. I mean, she was up till about 2.30 in the morning crying. So she slept late. Now she's taking a late nap. So she'll sleep late tonight. So, you know, it pushes everything back. <laughs> That's the only problem. Okay, W6. And she's with my husband. She's I, I haven't left her alone or anything. I'm going to go back in and make little strokes. So you just little, kind of little. Try not to be too heavy. I am heavy-handed and I, I'm a bit tired, so I think I'm a little heavier-handed than I'd like to be. There we go. <clears throat> and so now I'm going into with the W4. I'm going to pull that up, just pull it up, give it some more definition, pull it up, going a little further than I did the last time, and pull it up, so we want his face to have some definition, so now I'm going to go in with my W2, see it's an opportunity to use your grays when you <clears throat> work on raccoons. Here in Indiana, I live in Indiana, you know, you don't really like raccoons. Um, his tail looks amazing. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You don't like raccoons here in Indiana. Um, you try to keep them out of your yard because, um, I don't want to say an inappropriate uh, word on uh, air, but when they, um, 
when they make messes in your yard, you don't want your dogs to get close to it because it can, um, it can, pa uh, it can poison your dogs. The urine can poison your dogs. So you have to be very, very careful. And we have lots of raccoons here. So you don't really want them in your yard. It's kind of, um, scary when you think about that because we, you know, we all love our pets so much. So I'm going to take my W0 and I'm going to push down because I don't want to pull the color out. I'm going to just push down little strokes, push down. There we go. Push down. And I'm going to use this inside his ears just very lightly because I'm actually um, going to go in there with, you know, it's whim a whimsical character. Uh, your um, raccoon's not really going to look like this, right? So I'm going to go in with my pink and uh, do his ears just a little bit. So just, just a little bit. I'm going to work back and forth between my gray. So I'm going to take my W0. No, actually I'm going to take my W00. And I'm going to kind of push because I really want it... Um, just a touch, a hint, not a ton of uh, pink. And it's a whimsical character, so that's why I'm doing it. Because truthfully, your raccoon wouldn't really have pink, now would it? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to keep my pink out. And that was my W30. And I am going to pull out, if I have it close by, uh, let's see if I have it. Like I said, I would, oh, W20. So I'm going to keep my W20 out. All right, so let's go ahead and do his little face. And so this time I'm going to start with the um, W2. I'm gonna start with my W2 instead. Oh, I don't need to move my paper. I need to just move this. I don't know if you can see. Um, you know, if it bleeds through, that's, that's what you want. You want it to bleed through because otherwise it spreads. But I don't know if you can see there's a shimmer on this paper, but it is so pretty. Um, that's why I love using it. It just gives everything kind of a warm glow. So I'm just trying to do little sh uh, short strokes here. WD-40. I'm so glad you said that because it kept sticking in my head that I don't think that's quite right. So little short strokes. And then I'm going to go to my W-0. And I'm going to do, you know, my little short strokes like like that little short strokes then I'm going to go back to my W2 I'm going to go like this it's so funny because I am not a mushy person but I love making Valentine Day cards I don't know why but I'm I'm truly not mushy at all I'm not very um like romantic <laughs> like I don't read love love um, romance novels and I'm just not into all that and um, it's so funny that I love to make Valentine's Day cards so much okay and then I'm going to just go across just little short strokes like so there we go there we go just go across. I'm just going to go right over in here. Because I want, oh, I'm picking up some of the dark. Because I do want to give um, a little bit more definition right there. All right. I don't know. All right. So let's put, again, just whimsical. We would not be really having a pink. So I'm going to take my pink with my W00. And I'm just going to go across a little bit just to add a little. So I'm just taking it like that. Just kind of just a, t a hint, a hint of the, um, just kind of a hint because I don't really want a whole lot, just a hint of the pink. So that is why I'm doing that. And if you look, see what I did? I have um, two different caps 
I have to fix that after the live. I'm notorious for doing that. All right, so that was my W0 that I used, my W00. And so I'm gonna just go across just a little bit like this. So I wanted a little bit of color right there. And then I'm gonna go back with my W0. I'm just, now I, someone said they were worried about um, having color. So you can take your marker, see like that, and get the pink off like that and you get your pink off. See, and really, see, not really any color there. So <clears throat> you can, I call it marrying my markers together. You can do that and it doesn't cause a problem. Okay, so now we're gonna do his nose and oh, my dog is barking. Hope he doesn't wake up the baby. <sighs> Always um, lots of stuff going on here at the house. I'm gonna do his nose and I'm gonna do this with uh, my N1 and N4. I wanted a bit of a darker nose. So I'm gonna let me go over this. Just kind of doing a C. Then I'm gonna take my lighter color. Okay, hope I did all right. Let me just, I just do it off to the side. Okay. All right. So I just did a little bit, and now I'm going to take my N4 and then do it just like a C. It's kind of like a C. There's on camera you don't see it. I don't think you see a big difference between the two colors. So I'm taking my N1, going back over it. On camera, it doesn't really pick up that the colors are um, a lot different from each other. So I'm going back again, like a C. And I see what it is going on. Okay, so this is N1. Like that. Okay, so like kind of like a C, like. Um, See, like a C. There we go. Then I'm going to take this one and like that. All right. There we go. Now we're going to work on our box. So, whoop, trying to see who all is on. If anybody has any message, awesome trick with the markers. <laughs> you know, I um. I buy, I am on a budget, <laughs> big time, and I slowly, I buy about three or four, sometimes five, depending on if I have the extra money, I buy a few markers at a time. I do not buy, I don't have the full set of Copics. I have been building my collection a few at a time. Um, Gail, not Gail, I'm sorry, Dawn, she gifted me some, which was so wonderful. And then I had another, a viewer that um, she had to get rid of some of hers, and I bought them at a reduced rate. And so I just, um, I guess I just get so many at a time. So this is R29, and these the Chows. When I very first started uh, coloring, my students bought me these, and they were in a small set. So we're gonna do the heart. So if you um, marry your colors together, you can make um, extra colors. Now see, red is a difficult color to work with. Difficult color. And see, we hid that where I made the little boo-boo. We were able to hide that. So I'm gonna just pull this up. Yeah, red to me is a very difficult color because it, you just gotta be really careful. It just spreads and spreads. So I'm just trying to do the edges where I want it to be a little darker. And I try not to go all the way to the edge because like I said, reds, um, they kind of, uh, they bleed, they spread easily. So I'm trying to be careful. 
So anyway, I buy a few markers at a time each month. And I, I mean, I have a, a nice little collection now and I'm really happy. If this is all I could ever get, I would be happy. But I, I make other colors by blending them together. So it's just a good trick if you don't have um, a full set. I, I have a, like a three year plan to get them all, buy them over a three year span. So, I don't know how long I've actually been buying them now. So I'm just uh, doing my lighter color. And I'm going to pull it up, trying to be careful. And go right in here. Trying to be careful because we're going to go in. And I actually, no, that's that was correct. That's part of the box. It's okay. All right. So I'm going to pull down with my lightest color now. Which is my R24. I think Valentine boxes are usually uh, red, don't you think? So that's why I was doing red or pink. <laughs> Try to see if there's any that. Thank you for sharing your tips. <laughs> Could not purchase a full set. They are so expensive. They are expensive. They are very, very, very expensive. And yeah, I couldn't just buy a full set. The nice thing about Copics is they're refillable. So even though, um, in the long run, there you know it saves you money because you're not disposing of them. It's better for the environment too. You're not disposing of them. You can refill them. So in the long run, you are saving money. But um, yeah, they're expensive. But they're they're worth it. They're I mean I think they're really worth. There's this little bug that just keeps flying around here. They're um, they are worth it. I don't know where everybody else is from, but here we have um, little stink bugs that are just driving us crazy. They keep coming. I guess they're coming in because of the cold, but they are driving us crazy here. There we go. Now, I'm going to um, blend this out a little bit. And see, I'm going to take my lighter color around the edge just gently. I'm trying to be very gen gentle kind of around the edge to, to kind of give it a little bit of uh, depth that way. There we go. And we'll do the ribbon in a minute. But I need to get this blended a little bit more. Come down. So I'm going to take my R27. I don't like harsh lines, so I'm going to go in here a little bit. There we go. There we go. Sorry, getting a little quiet. <laughs> what bugs are they? There's just this little teeny tiny bug that keeps flying around me. Right there, you can barely see it. It almost looks like a fruit fruit fly, but it is not. But here we have stink bugs. I don't know if you know what a stink bug is. They they look horrid. They look like wood because they live. Uh, they're from the trees. They live in the trees. But if you um, smush one. It puts off a terrible, terrible odor, and we call them stink buds, bugs, stink bugs. Um, but they look like wood; they're awful. And we got, oh my gosh, we got so many of them. I don't know, I don't know how they get in the house. Maybe they come in on our clothing. I don't know, but they're awful. We live out in the country, so it's sort of out in the country. There we go. A little bit more. Here we go. Now we're going to do the ribbon. So that's my R27. Put my lids back on and we'll do our ribbons. And then we're going to assemble our card. So the ribbon I'm doing brighter. And I'm just using uh, two colors, I think. That's what I selected. So I picked RV04 and RV02. Or 02, I guess. Let's see. We get stink. Oh, you get stink bugs too, Fatima? Oh my gosh. This year, maybe it's a bad year for them. I don't know. Now, I, this is kind of a bright color, and I picked it because of my um, paper. So I'm just doing the edges. And then we'll, we'll look at the image, and we'll see if we need to do any little touch-ups anywhere. So I'm using my lighter color now. My R02. There we go. And I'm pulling the color out like, like so. 
That sounds like Dawn, like so. Dawn has a live tonight at, um, is it at six o'clock, Dawn? I think it's at six. She does lives three times a week. I tip, typically do them two times a week, although recently I have been doing three times. So there we go. I'm just pulling it out. There we go. And I'm just using two colors. I'm gonna go back and forth with these two colors. Like this. I do lives typically two times a week, although like I said, I've done, um, did a, three times the last couple of weeks, but typically I don't do that. Dawn does them three times a week. She does them on Sunday, um, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So she has it posted on Dawn G Designs, the times that she does her lives, if you wanna follow along. And then um, in our little group, there's Gail Stamping, um, Stamping with Gail Sue, and uh, the Noble Crafter, that's Sharon. So if you like lives, there's uh, several of us that kinda you know, we're, we're friends, we all do them together. All right, so there's the ribbon, and I think his hands need a little bit more of a touch-up, so we're gonna do his hands. So I'm gonna take these two colors here, which is W00 and W0, because we, we don't wanna put, go too dark till we see um, if we're okay. This hand wasn't so bad, but this one, see there's that little bug again, I don't know. Okay, so now, oop, right over in here, you can go over your images as many times as you want. I'm just doing little sh short strokes. You can go over your images as many times as you want. You're just layering color. If you're not happy, you can touch up. So I'm gonna go over to the side here and over by his elbow. Bring it down a little bit. A little bit more back in here. See, and I'm gonna pull his the feet out. So, there we go. There we go. So now we're gonna assemble our card. You can put as many layers on as you want. I almost think for his mouth, but I don't wanna mess him up, that it would be kinda cute to uh, put a little pink on his mouth, but I don't wanna mess it up. Hope I'm not. I love them all. Yes, Dawn G. She's on at six o'clock tonight. Only I'm terrible about, about doing. Oh, Sharon says she's terrible about doing lives at a routine. <laughs> at a routine time. All right. So we are going to assemble this card, and I had. We're going to do a five by seven card tonight. Five by seven, and I've got ribbon. I've got um, gems. And I've got Brad's, and I've got three different, three different um, sentiments to choose from. And uh, because the baby was ill, I normally type up my own sentiment, kind of make up a sentiment. But I have three different ones, and I thought maybe you guys could vote. So we have the story of us, happy days, and our story. So um, whichever one you guys think. That's what we're gonna go with. And I also did another shortcut. I normally cut out my own card base, but because of um, everything that happened, I have, I'm using a pre-made one. So I'm using a shortcut. Now I'm gonna push you guys out. There we go. That way you can see while I make the card. Again, this is Raccoon with Heart Box. So I'm gonna let you guys vote on which sentiment, let me, Get my chubby little hands, and we are going to start assembling the card. That's what we're going to, we are going to do. So I'm going to use my beloved art glitter glue. It's my favorite. Our story. Let's see. We got our story. We got happy. We got two happy days. No, oh, we got two hour stories. Ooh. So two happy days, and two hour stories. So um, the next person. Let's see, so two, I like, so the next person, we're gonna go with, oh, hi, Jackie. We're gonna go with the next person, what you think. You gotta break the tie between our story and happy days. So whichever sentiment you think. I actually love this red, red and white paper. Uh, that's my college IU, crimson and 
uh, cream, crimson and cream. That's IU colors right there. I love that. Crimson and cream. It's not red. You know, we call it crimson and cream if you go to uh, Indiana University. So, you know, Indiana is big on their colleges here. Basketball and all this, all those sports. Oh my gosh. Purdue, Notre Dame. We got some major teams going on here. There we go. Now, before I put this on the card base, I've already tied my ribbon. And I should have not done that. I should have done it on camera so you guys could have seen. But I'm going to take my um, ribbon right here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. This is probably cheating. But I take some washi tape that I don't like. And this is from my... I used to be a Stampin' Up! demo, and this is my from some Stampin' Up! stuff, and I didn't like it. This this pattern. I mean, I like the washi tape, but I didn't like the pattern. So I just put it on the back to hold my ribbon in place. So it's kind of a shortcut. It's probably not, you know, what you're supposed to do. And then we'll add the ribbon on. And I put it a little bit low for the ribbon, see, because we want to have the ribbon. So I have it a little bit low. So I'm going, the good thing about washi tape is you can move it. So we're going to move it a little bit. And this is a five by seven card. And so I cut this just um, an eighth of an inch shorter around the, the red mat and then red mat and then this paper another eighth of an inch. So see, it's going to fit here. And then this ribbon will be here. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this and then we'll get the rest of it going. So again, I'm using my art glitter glue, which I just love. And it, they won't ship it during the um, cold months. So I always order enough to make it through the winter. So about eight more weeks and they'll start shipping it. And this was a shortcut, but it's okay. So we're gonna have kind of a white border there. All right, so let's see, what did we decide on our story? Okay, so we're gonna go with our story. Actually, I think the our story, it's very pretty. So we're gonna go with that. I think they're all nice. So we're gonna go with our story. Okay, so then this is a, um, I think this square was a three and a half by three and a half, I believe. And we're gonna mat this. And then I'm going to show you what I do to pop it up. I use a fun foam. When I have a big area, I just use fun foam. And I get it at uh, like a craft aisle, like Joanne's Fabric. So what I do is I just take it and I just kind of give it a cut right there. Fun foam is very inexpensive, and it's a good way to prop things up. So there we go, and it just it, you can just cut through it. I get a big package of it, and I use it to prop up instead of um, using adhesive. And see, I'm not very, I don't cut straight. There we go. I'm not good at cutting straight. See, and it's got adhesive on the back. See, it's got adhesive. And then you just plop it down. And this gives you dimensions without having to use a whole bunch of little dimensionals. And it's cheap. And I just add the glue like that. And then we'll put it on the back. So we're gonna add, let me make sure I have my card right. I think that one I wanted underneath. So we're going to add that on. I got ahead of myself. So this one was um, like four inches by two and a half inches. And so I'm just going, and this is Echo Park paper that I got. Uh, it's discontinued paper that I had gotten at Tuesday morning that I just came across and I grabbed it. And I just, um, it's actually a very pretty paper. I wish I would have been able to get more, but they only had the one packet. And I just think, I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. 
Then I add this panel right here. So like that. Just kind of, like I said, just kind of eyeball it. Then we're going to add on our little guy. We're going to put our ribbon and we're going to put our embellishment. So we're getting there. No need to rush. I am taking a Stampin' Up! Spot Flirty Flamingo. And my friend Gail sent me a whole bunch of inks. Now, this one I think I actually had, but she sent me a whole bunch of inks. And I just, I love them. I just do this to, on the edge to kind of uh, give it a little bit of dimension when you, um, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know, I just don't like all the white space. And saying that, I forgot to do something, so we're going to do it real quick. But I just flick, flick this on, and it just kind of gives it a good edge. I noticed I forgot to do something. <clears throat> I'm going to take um, E0, E01. No, he's kind of floating. We don't want him to float, do we? I'm just going to kind of put that on. Take my E00. And it's, kind of, it's a little pinkish. Just kind of pull it out. Just kind of pull it out. You don't want him just floating in the air. I just kind of realized he was floating in the air there. And then I'm going to take my blender, my blender pen, and just kind of pull it out a little bit more. So that way it pulls it out to a white. So see, I'm just kind of going over it and pulling it out to white. And just kind of pull it down. There we go. Yeah, I don't want them just kind of floating. There we go. And I did use kind of a pinky color because he's gray and I normally use gray. There we go. So we'll put him right there. And um, we're going to pop him up. So we will pop him up, I think. Now right here, we are going to use, let's see, the story, our story, right? It was our, I gotta get that off of there, our story. And I should have done this first. I'm really bad about this. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off, which is fine. See, it didn't stick down well enough. Anyway, so we're gonna do it like this. I gotta find my where we want our hole. So like this. Now you can see all my little things I do. I gotta line it up. There we go. Like that. And we will take our little uh, brad. I gotta find where did I set the brad. <laughs> so we'll use our little brad. But I have misplaced the little brad. That's okay. We'll find it. We'll find it. I had a little heart brad here. No problem. Yeah, I had a little pink heart brad. It's okay. I'm going to grab a different one just real quick. Only take me a moment, hopefully. Fine. Where did I put them? And you guys might see it on my desk where I don't see it. I don't know. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Okay, we're going to use a different heart. A little pink one. I shouldn't take them off, I guess, before my lives because I, I do this all the time where I lose them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this on like this. Our story. And we just spread it apart. There we go. Now we're going to re glue this. Put some more glue. Make it nice and thick. There we go. Put this back on. So here we go. Like this. I see my brad right there. Now we're going to pop our little um, raccoon up. And we're going to use dimensionals. Now here, see, I didn't... You could cut out the fun foam. But we don't need as many dimensionals here. So that's why I don't... Um, don't mind using it here, but on a big spot, it just, I don't know, it just saves some money and it goes through the mail better. 
course, my cards all have to be um, hand stamped because they become very thick. I feel like this one is not as thick as some of them. I mailed out so many at Christmas. Every day I went and mailed them out in the post office. Some people are nicer at the post office than others. Now, with my ribbon, I use this Fabric Fusion. It's by Aileen's, and it just works so well. I love Brad's. I love Brad's. I think, let's see, what does someone say? I think I have some that float. <laughs> I love this paper. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be sad when it's all gone. But I try to use my paper. I don't, I try not to hoard it because what's the point of that? There we go. Now this will dry on. Now you can use um, a glue gun. But honestly, this glue, once it dries, my gosh, it really sticks. So it's kind of cheating because I didn't really, um, I, I tied the bow and stuck it on the ribbon. But there we go. So there's our card. I just think um, this is Raccoon with Heart. I just think he's a cute little fellow and just a little hint of pink. You don't want to put a whole lot of pink, even though it's a whimsical character and not really real. Um, you don't want too, too much pink. So there we go. I'm bad about making sure my characters don't float. But um, you just want to try to think about where your light is hitting and then try to highlight. And that's what, what I try to think about when I do it. But I, I think it's adorable. I think he's adorable. And I thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody has a marvelous Sunday. And um, I will be live this week, but I won't be live. Oh, I was going to put on um, these. I'm not sure if I need them or not. I was going to put them, I was going to put like three. What do you think? Should I put three on? Um, I won't be live on Wednesday like I normally am because my son has a, a, an appointment. So I was changing to Thursdays because he has an appointment. But, um, so I'll post the time that I'll be live this coming week. Yeah, I was thinking about adding, but I don't know if it really needs it. What do you think? Anybody, whoever says, uh, oh, you say add it. What do you think? Like three of them, maybe over here, three over here, or one each corner. So whoever's the first that says whether I should put three here or one each corner. So the first person that gives me the answer, that's what I'm going to go with. And then I'll sign off. Because I know you guys, you want to get ready for Dawn's live. Her live's at 6. And um, she's got to eat before she does her live. So let's see. Top left. Okay. Top. So right here by the, um, or do you mean like because you're on camera over this way. So three in the corner. But maybe it would look okay there because it's kind of got a lot of space. So let's do three in the corner. We'll put them, we'll put them up here. But you know what? You're the only person that knows when you make a card. Nobody knows if you made a mistake or not, right? Because they don't know what you planned. So just go with it. So we're putting three in the corner here. There we go. And one more. Now, if I would go back before I mailed this, and I'd probably glue these down because you don't want it to lose in the um, in the envelope. You don't want them to fall off. There we go. So, and all the colors kind of go together. And oh, look, I found it. <laughs> See? All right. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. And I, he is an adorable character. And this is from Paper Nest Dolls. This is my second project for the month. This is Paper Nest Dolls. And they're all cute. There's some really cute ones. So, um, you know, if you like paper, um, I know everybody loves Paper Nest Dolls. So if you want a nice Valentine image, you should go and check out Paper Nest Dolls because she's got some, Christine has some really, 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 really cute ones. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Donna. And I, oh, thank you, Mia. And I will see you guys later. Bye.